Judge Woodhull, is this your son I've heard so much about? Major Rogers, I uh, don't believe I mentioned my son. You didn't. Robert Rogers, Queen's Rangers. Uh, Abraham Woodhull. Why don't you find gentlemen? Let me buy you around, and we shall drink to friends and traitors alike tonight. Eh? To the enemies of our country, may they have cobweb breeches, a porcupine saddle, a hard-trotting horse, <laughs> and an eternal journey. So then, what brings the legend of the frontier here to Long Island? Uh, the rangers go where needed. Our quarry be those most dangerous to his majesty's rule. General Washington. Oh, we'll get him. But I am now after a man more deviant and difficult to track. Hides not behind an army, but a thicket of lies and deception. So you've come here looking for a single man? Perhaps. Though, like all good plots, there's usually more than one involved. Ask your warm friend, Guy Fox, out there. Though usually it's only one man who takes the credit and the infamy. Or immortality. Oh, beautiful. 1605. In commemoration of the 5th of November Act, Parliament issued, Amsterdam struck, Passed to me for my services in the Seven Years' War. Hmm. Huh? He who conceals himself is detected. Madam, will you drink with us? No, 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 please. Yeah. Please, set. I was just telling these good gentlemen what a fine, uncommon town you have here. Uncommon? Well, for such a tiny hamlet, there's an unusual amount of smuggling, arson, and murder. You're speaking now of Captain Joyce. Ah, uh, he's part of a riddle I'm trying to solve. A captain lay dead in a field. One week later, 20 of his men lay dead in Connecticut with no enemy casualties to save their honor. How did this occur? I suppose the answer to that lies in Connecticut. The old fella brought me here. What old fella? Hmm. Tells me there's something corrupt in this town. Something concealed. I agree. As you must have heard, I was suspected of the captain's murder for a time. Although I was cleared of all suspicion, the accusation still vexed me greatly. So I took it upon myself to look into the riddle of the man's death on my own. What? You've also likely heard that the captain was billeted with Mrs. Strong. And while she was cleaning his room, she discovered a hidden letter addressed to Joyce. Mrs. Strong. The letter. The letter. It is unsigned, but it seems to be from a secret lover here in Setauk. When did you find this letter, Mrs. Strong? This morning, sir. And why did you go to Mr. Woodhull? Why not straight to Hewer? I, uh... I thought... I thought, well, I... <laughs> I thought I... I was in love once myself. Unfortunately, married at a time, eh? Then you'll agree with me that if choice was done in, it was by the husband of the letter writer. Let's ask Captain Joyce. 